Okay, so just uh, before I start the video, so I'm going to be, this is a continuation of Daniel Rose Levine's One Look Wednesday series, uh, so going by that, welcome to One Look Wednesday's episode 8. So, uh, I hope you enjoy the series, and yeah, I'll leave a link to the playlist of all the previous One Look Less Layer tutorials that Daniel made, along with my continuing ones, which I'll be doing once every week. Every Monday, I will be uploading one. So yeah, let's just get into the first one well, look one this episode eight. So I'll be going over these three one look less layer cases today. As you see, they are all of this OLL. And they all have um if you can recognize CP, which you should before knowing this, they all are diag swaps. So as you see it's a pi and these two are matching, these two are opposite for all of them. And the thing that relates to all of them is that they all have a bar. Um on this side of the OLL, as you see. And the different ways to recognize them are based on these two stickers. So I'll be going over each of these cases. So for this first case, as we see earlier, we have the diag swap and the bar here, and these two colors are opposite. So when these two colors are opposite, what you want to do is you want to hold the blue bar in the back, so the blue bar is in the back, and the alg is really simple. So it's just back anti soon. So, R prime U two R U, R prime U R, and then you just have F sexy F prime, just like that. And here's what it looks like at full speed. So for this next case, um, as you see again, it has this diag pi and then a bar here. But this time, instead of the two colors being opposite, these two colors, this time they're just. Um, not opposite and not matching, so for the other case, the stickers will be matching. And then for the case I showed previously, these two colors were opposite, but now they're just adjacent colors. So that's how you recognize it. And what you want to do, instead of a U like the other one, you want to do a U prime. And the algorithm is also really simple. It's just anti soon, And then you just have this OLL, so you can either do it like F prime and then inverse left dyslexia F. Or the way I like to do it is U prime and then R prime U prime F prime U F and then R just like that. Here's what it looks like at full speed. There we go. Now for this last case, um, as you see, it has the same bar as always, and these two colors are matching this time. So um, if you know, so. Um, it's going to be really easy to learn this algorithm if you know the OLLCP for this case, or the COLL for this case, and you use this alg. So the alg that goes like um, R, U, D, and then just a bunch of other stuff to solve CP. Because all you have to do for this case is do that uh, COLL alg, but the first R move is wide, and then there's, I mean, the first R move is wide, yeah, and then there's an R prime. And later in the solve, but you'll see. So you want to hold it the same way you would hold the COLL, like this. So the L goes like this. So it's just a wide R, U, D prime, R, U, R prime, D, R2, U prime, R prime, and then U prime, and then here's where the other wide move R is. So it's wide R prime, and then you just want to insert this in the back, just like that. So this will be easy for you to learn, especially if you know the COLL. If not, it uh, might take a little time to get used to or to memorize. But yeah, these are all pretty nice cases, so um, they're really good to know. But yeah, I hope you learned something new from these algorithms, and I hope they'll be beneficial to your solves or maybe like FMC or something. But thanks for watching. Bye.